Recently, a bunch of us in the barbecue community decided to get together and do a mac and cheese collab, and we called it Slack and Cheese. Now, this collab actually went outside of the barbecue community, and other folks started joining in, which I think is what it's all about. I think that there's about 12 of us doing it, and it's just all our different variations on how to make mac and cheese. You know as well as I do, there are so many different ways to make it, and every one of them is right. We start our slack and cheese with just large elbow macaroni. We're gonna cook it al dente in our pan. By the way, we have Aiden here. You say hi? hi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this al dente. It's just gonna take a minute or two. Then I'm gonna drain it and then come back and finish this part up. Our mac and cheese is al dente. It's, it's not hard but it's not soft. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put in some of our Irish butter that we had left over from our bangers and mash. I'm just gonna quarter this, I don't know, it's like not really quarter. It sticks to your neck. Yep. I'm just gonna put it in like this. And we're gonna let that butter melt down. We want it pretty much melted down. And that is gonna be our fat in here. Our butter, it looks like it's melted down. Now I have here a quarter a cup of flour. I'm just gonna put, put it in a little bit at a time. And this is gonna kind of act as a binder, a little bit lo longer down the path here. It may not use all of it. It does, doesn't it? Okay, that looks about perfect. Next thing I'm gonna put in is some sour cream. It's just regular old sour cream. That's been left, that's been left, that's been left, guys. Just to remember, this has been spoiled for about five years. What? Yes. It's not about at the grocery store yesterday, dude. Well, if you let it, if you, if you let it sit out for about, for about, for about nine degrees, yeah. And start getting spoiled. There you go. Okay, so we got that part down. We're gonna add some salt. We got a mini fridge. Mix that salt up in there. Yeah, I'm so glad that we. We do have some white pepper. I'm gonna throw over that. Yeah, and after this, we're, I'm a, in a little bit. We're gonna be eating, and we're All gonna right. tell you how good it is. Yep. All right, so now we have some heavy whipped cream. And we're gonna put about two, maybe three cups, just depending upon what we need oh, in that here. That already smells so good. I know. I just wanna eat it right now. Uh, me too, but you know, the, it hasn't had a chance for all the flavors to fuse together. Well, at least you know? I'll be eating, at least I'll be eating pepper. <laughs> well, yeah, there's People that. eat pepper a lot. Trust me, people pour them in their mouth. And this is one of the reasons why we did have the flour in here, is because I would I knew that I was going to be putting in that heavy cream. Like half the fun. Yep. All right, with this nice and, and loose like this, we're going to put in some extra sharp cheddar cheese. Now, Aiden, what do they call extra sharp extra cheddar cheese? Extra tasty. Yep. And I got about two cups here. Oh, don't touch it, please. Okay. I was just, I was just telling you that you guys That's probably the perfect combination, the perfect mix of all of this. This is going to be some cheesy stuff, and that's what Aiden likes. It's some cheesy slack and cheese. Huh? Now we do have some Gouda that we're gonna throw in here, but we're gonna throw that in over the top at the very end. With everything mixed up for our slack and cheese, we're gonna throw it here onto the smoker for about an hour. And we're gonna start out at three and a quarter, but after about 20 minutes, then we're gonna bring it down to about 250 and let it finish. I gotta say, as mac and cheese goes, that looks pretty darn good. 
Let's sprinkle some more of our smoked Gouda on the top. In all honesty, this is not gonna take very long. This is gonna melt down, and then we're gonna be ready. I think we're only looking at about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, for that Gouda to melt, mix it up, and serve it. We're still at 250. I did crank the heat up for just a moment to three and a quarter, but that was only for about 20 minutes. And right now we're in it to it about an hour on our slack and cheese. Let's give it that 15 minutes. Let's start let our Gouda melt. We'll see you then. Our 15 minutes is up. I just took a look at the cheese and it has melted goodness. Man, this is molten lava cheese. I am so ready to try this dish. I mean, you, you take the, the extra sharp cheddar cheese with smoke, with Gouda cheese. I almost said smoked Gouda, but it's not. But with Gouda cheese, oh man. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up on this because it looks really good. I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That looks amazing. For slack and cheese, that's not bad, right? I'm gonna plate up a bowl of this slack and cheese. You know, sometimes just the more cheese, the better. Look at that. <laughs> that's what it's all about, man. Comfort food. You know what's really cool about this is I do get the salt, but you know what I get out of it too? I get just a hint of that white pepper. It's actually really good. It's so simple to make. That's why it's slack and cheese. There's hardly any ingredients at all. I mean, hell, you could call it leftover mac and cheese. I had the Irish butter from the bangers and mash that we did for St. Patty's Day. Very good. I think you guys would like this. Absolutely amazing. Please make sure to check out the other folks who are part of this collab. Hashtag Slack and Cheese. I'll leave it around here somewhere. Maybe over here. I don't know. You'll see it. They got some great recipes for mac and cheese. And that's the beauty of mac and cheese is you cannot go wrong with it. Literally thousands of different recipes for mac and cheese. And you can't go wrong. I made the easiest, most easiest mac and cheese in the world right here. Leftovers, really. And boom, it worked out. All right. I'll talk to you on the next episode. I love you guys. Peace. Hang loose. Take care. <laughs>